Okay, YouTube, in this video, we're gonna replace the um, radiator guard that's at the top because it was installed wrong when I got it. Um, I purchased the wrong size radiator guard. I only purchased the one for the top part. And now I purchased the right one, so the top and the bottom is going to get replaced, and then the horn is going to be installed a lot better. Right now, it's actually up against uh, this part of the fairing, and when you blow it, it doesn't go as loud as it should. So to do this, you got to take off this whole bottom belly pan, and I'm going to take that off real quick, so that way I can install the radiator guard properly on the top and the bottom, and then the OEM radiator guard actually comes off, and there's another one that goes in front of it. And it's actually going to say ZX-10R right, right here on the radiator guard. Here's what comes in the package. This goes on both sides of the radiator guard so you don't have vibrational noise. Um, these actually hold the radiator guard away from the radiator, but I'm actually not gonna use these, but you can. These two Allen heads go on the bottom. One is for the oil cooler radiator guard and the other one's for the radiator itself. And this is the radiator guard here. Same exact size as the oil, the OEM one. I just ordered the bottom, I mean the top only. I did not order the oil cooler guard. This is what it looks like. So it says ZX10R on it. That's for the top, and then this is the oil cooler guard that I did not install the first time I did this uh, installation. And this goes on the actual bottom. I'm gonna show you exactly how to install this on your bike. So now that we know what the product looks like that comes in the packaging. Um, also, I will leave a link in the description of this video of where you can get these parts um, from. So let's take off the belly pad. So to take off the belly pan, you're gonna need to take off one, two, three, four, and then the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, and four. And then the belly pan should come straight down, and then I'll take off, um, well not take off, I'll loosen this top one here, and then I'll be able to move this forward away from the bike, and I can just take off the horn bracket. I'll show you what I mean. All right, once you take off the bottom part of the belly pan to the lower part of the bike. All right, so now once you get to this step, first thing you wanna do is take off this horn bracket, which is in the way, and to take it off, you gotta get access to this bolt, and then um, you will have to get access to, let's see if I can show you. You see that bolt there in the back? You gotta loosen that one just so you can bring the radiator forward just a little bit, not too much, and then we can take all this off. This part here will not stay on the new uh, oil cooler. Um, so what you'll have to do, um, I saw a video where he just put a zip tie through it and it held in place. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put one zip tie through this and it's gonna hold it in place. Um, but you will not be reusing the lower oil cooler guard. Um, let me take off this horn bracket first because it's the one that's in the way the most. Once you take the horn itself off, put your tools and stuff back together. You guys saw I took this off, and then I finally took off the oil cooler. The easy, the way this is, is this, it's held on by these two ends here, the easiest part. So I just pried it away and then pulled it off. And then now I'm gonna take off this horn bracket, which is, that's a 10 millimeter. So you grab your 10, get your extension, make, make sure it reaches and it does and I'm gonna take that that horn bracket off and then I'm gonna take off the oil I mean the radiator guard that I put on before holding on with a zip tie I'm gonna take that off and then I can go ahead and install the new one all right so once you take out that bolt the horn bracket is loose you have to do the same thing to the other side so that you can lower the oil cooler and then you can take out this bracket. So you gotta go to the other side. You see that bolt that's back, not this one that's closer. Let me move out of the way so I can focus. Not the one that's closer, but the one that's all the way on the other side, that one back, back there. Okay, so once you take this out off, the oil cooler should drop down a little bit. Once you get this off of the bike, now we can focus all of our attention on putting in our brand new rear guard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these back on the oil cooler, on these bolts, and then I'm gonna focus on installing the new radiator guard. All right guys, so let me show you the reason as to why I ordered the radiator guard in the first place. So I don't know if you guys can see, I'm gonna move here. You see that gash right there and right there? It's 
the reason why I ordered it, cause like something flew up and hit it, and I was like, damn, I'm getting a lot of marks on my radiator. So that's what made me order the radiator guard to kind of protect all these things from underneath the uh, bike. A lot of times I find myself not going slow. <laughs> oh, I need to wash. I need to get this radiator cleaned out. It's dirty, dirty. Um, but there you can go. You can kind of see it a little more there where it's damaged really, really bad. Uh, right here. Um, all right, so now that we have this in place, I put two rubber grommets on here um, so that way it can keep the vibration noise down. But the way you install this is at the very top of the radiator, there's like little lips that this hook go on. So when you install it, make sure these hooks clip onto the top of the radiator. And then this part, this top part should stay in place. And then, all right, once you put the bottom one in place, um, don't forget your rubber grommets. Um, but for the most part, it's, it's quiet, and that's what I want. All right, I'm gonna put the horn in place, connect the wires. The horn is gonna live here. Um, you wanna reuse your lock washer and the nut. I always say this, man. You don't wanna lose these little bitties. Get you some uh, blue Loctite. Just a small dab, goes a long way. So I just put a little dab on the tip, that's it. That's it, and I can put these on the bike and I'm good to go. That should last me until I'm ready to take it off again. All right guys, so this is the finished product of what it looks like when it's installed on the bike. Um, so now I can just go ahead and put in my, uh, my lower cow or my lower belly pan and I'm done. Yeah, so let me put it all back together and show you what the finished product looks like. And boy oh boy, doesn't it look nice? Now we're all done. To me, that's a much nicer look with the bottom and the top. So now underneath the, the inside of the cow or the front of the bike, it's completely dark. That's a much better look if you ask me. Um, so yeah, so I want to thank you guys for watching this real simple, really, really easy radiator guard and oil cooler install. Another thing I like about this is that it's not right up against the... Um, the radiator or this so it's a rock or something comes up in here is gonna hit this way before it hits the actual radiator or the oil cooler which is a very 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 great way to go if you're gonna protect your bike I do need to clean the bike the fork is a little dirty um, the bike has been sitting for maybe three days now so I'm gonna take a little bit of time and wash it up a little bit and then go for a ride